Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I am at uh, Rat Sculler Rockford, uh, which if you haven't heard is under new ownership and has gone through a lot of work and I'm being greeted here by Jonathan. How's it going, Jonathan? Hi, how are you? Doing fantastic. So uh, tell me a little bit about like your story in Rat Sculler Rockford. So I've been in the restaurant industry for quite a while. I started out in New York City, then I moved to LA, and then uh, back here to Rockford where I uh, graduated from high school. Nice. And so uh, when did you um, like acquire Rat Scholar, right? This like, so thing that's Rockford So we so. Um, closed on the sale of the building on April 1st of 2020. Uh, right in the middle of <laughs> pandemic, yeah. perfect timing. Uh, <laughs> however, it had been something that was on our radar for a while, so nice. uh, we just decided to push through. And so when uh, you guys came in, you wanted to do something a little different with the menu than what has been here historically. So yeah. uh, tell me, like, what was the inspiration for the menu and what are some of the foods you guys are offering? The, the main inspiration for this entire restaurant was my time living in Germany. I spent two years living in uh, the south uh, west corner of Germany. Nice. And so this is basically an homage to my time spent there and my favorite things to do in Germany when I lived there. So that's awesome. Uh, we have coffee. I loved going out for coffee. Uh, we have beer garden, um, all those things. A lot of the foods on the menu are my were my favorite things to eat when I lived in Germany. So that's kind of basic in a nutshell. Very cool. And so you really are bringing like an authentic German menu, yeah. right? It's not like we're, Americanized German. Right. We're trying to bring uh, an authentic German, but with a time and place of Northern Illinois in a particular season. So okay. uh, we're seasonal. Uh, we like to use as much local stuff as possible. Sure. Uh, so we're not going to be doing asparagus in December, <laughs> right? Uh, you know, so those types of things. So fantastic. Yeah. Well, you guys do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, correct? We do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it's for breakfast and lunch. It's cafe style. So uh, it's order at the counter. We bring you your food, your drinks, uh, that sort of thing. Dinner yeah. is uh, dinner currently is the same, but it will be moving to full service once. Things yeah, get a little bit back normal. Uh, back behind us, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so, uh, you guys did a lot of work. Yeah. Because uh, this <clears throat> does not look like the direct skeller of my memories. So our main motivation was to kind of brighten it up, get it ready for the next ninety years. <laughs> uh, once yeah. we started kind of doing tweaks here and there, we realized that there were definitely some things that we needed to take care of that were needed to 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 for us to be around and uh, for the longevity of the restaurant, we needed to repair. So sure. uh, while we were doing that, we did some cosmetic updates as well. Awesome. So yeah, let's go on a little tour um, right. just to show people kind of everything that's been done. So here's our cafe. We have a, a very nice uh, espresso machine, top quality, world-class espresso. Uh, tools there. We have an assortment of pastries every morning. Nice. Uh, and so yeah, so like your standard kind of yeah. coffee bar, right? Like yeah, come exactly. get your get your caffeine fix for the yeah. day. <clears throat> and then uh, through here you have uh, booth seating all yeah, the way around. So, so you got a lot more tables in here yes. than what was in here previously. So during the day this will be a perfect hangout for coffee lovers. Tea lovers, um, you know, we've got uh, power outlets and USB ports around the base of the booth seating here. So it's going to be perfect to hang out with your friends, drink coffee, or perhaps work from, you know, if you work from home, come yeah. in and do some work for students as well. Um, and then at night, this will be our, we call a, a Weinstube, which okay. is basically a wine bar in Germany. So this is going to be kind of our more upscale food and drink. Excellent wine list, um, more elevated kind of entree centric sure. food. So that'll be exciting once we can finally get people <laughs> sitting in here. 
yeah and get that kicked off yeah. um but in the meantime you guys have done a big uh update and renovation to the beer garden outside correct? yeah so you know uh, we basically painted and kind of brought it up to uh snuff out here um but we have a nice curtain here for the winter dining we have some heaters uh so it's with the heaters going it's actually not bad at all out yeah it actually feels pretty good right? yeah so um, I mean, it's, it's definitely winter on the other side great place to but... hang out um we're doing some fun events um you know we've been doing some uh chalet themed outdoor events uh in the snow uh for fun and um we've got something fun planned for february as well so very cool good times yeah absolutely um just head inside because i know you got some guests here uh so for those that want to uh stay in the know on like your yeah. things coming up in february mm -hmm. and uh throughout the the rest of the year like where can they go like how do they get connected to you so everything is at rotskeller rockford uh, our webpage is Rod Skeller Rockford, Instagram is Rod Skeller Rockford, and Facebook is Rod Skeller Rockford. So uh, we are doing online ordering, curbside pickup for food, uh, all of that. So everything can be found on our website. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for the tour and showing me all around. And congratulations thank on you. the space. Uh, it is amazing. So uh, big shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. I'm able to meet with people like Jonathan and give you tours of local businesses and highlight our small business community here in the 815 and tell you all about it for free through the power of the Internet. So thank you so much to them. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. We will see you on the flip side.